Hello guys, today we're going to unbox and review the Psycho Pirate figure from McFarlane. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when new content comes out. Now we have here the front of the box, and of course you see the figure. You have the torso of the monitor here. And now let's take a look at the side of the box. And this is the top. And then you have the bottom. Here's the other side of the box. And now you have the back of the box showing the artwork for the monitor. Here is the Psycho Pirate out of the box. And he has a very nice color scheme. You have this red and the black contrasting. And then you have the yellow accents and the gold for the face. Let's take a look at the articulation. Now the head moves, the, the cape gets in the way, and then you can move the head up, down, up, down. Okay? And then you have the shoulders. You can swivel it. There's also a bicep rotation. And then you also have, of course, the elbow articulation. You have two joints there. And then. You have your wrist articulation, pretty much standard stuff. And then you have the ab crunch. And then you have the waist movement. Now the cape is made out of soft plastic. Maybe some of you prefer the one made out of cloth. But for this figure, it's plastic. Here's the leg articulation, the knee articulation. Two joints there ankle and then you have your toe articulation and this is the kind of split you have with the figure the psycho pirate release is very striking to the eye with the contrasting black and red in an almost checkered pattern the yellow and gold provide good accents to the paint job the faces on the torso of the figure are very detailed and add more to the visual aspect of the figure. There are some minor paint chipping in my figure but other than that, the paint job is commendable. The sculpt is generally well done and you get good detailing especially in the cape which is made up of soft plastic. You also get the standard articulation from a McFarlane figure giving you poses that are dynamic. What I find lacking is that we don't get extra hands which could help the figure express more emotions and produce more action. Still, this figure is a good release from McFarlane and the fact that it comes with the torso of the monitor gives more value to it. So that's the review for the Psycho Pirate figure from McFarlane. This has been Kulas for Tambe Reviews. Thank you for watching and keep on playing.